What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Toy Bro Review. In honor of the ongoing Mythic Legions 2.0 Kickstarter that's going on right now for the Four Horsemen and their excellent Mythic Legions line, I wanted to do a review uh, of one of the previously released figures. We're going to take a look at Cyanicus from Mythic Legions. Alright, packaging. Let's take a look and see what we've got. So, since this is a collector line, this packaging is resealable, which is obviously a huge selling point for people who want to take them out of the box and then put them back in. And it still looks nice. So uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about, but let's let's go over the rundown. So it's a standard kind of blister card. And like I said, it is resealable. So you can pop these tabs off and slide the backer card out. So we've got our Mythic Legions uh, kind of logo down there. We've got some accessories in the box. Figure obviously would go here. Uh, we've got some artwork on the side. Uh, the Eurtheron's crest over there. We've got some artwork on the back of various Myth and Mythic Legion stuff, as well as kind of a write-up of a bit of the story. And then uh, we've got the Four Horsemen's uh, credits down there, along with some of the other folks that worked on this uh, this artwork and things like that. So, you know, nothing too fancy, but you can't go wrong with resealable packaging. So let's uh, take a look at Cyanicus. All right, so here is Cyanicus. And... I don't have all the Mythic Legion figures. I have very few of them. Uh, I didn't get in on the ground floor of the Kickstarter. I also didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on these figures, despite how cool they are. So I got the ones that I thought were the coolest. And this is this is the one that stuck out to me the most when I when I was first buying them up. So um, most of the birds, at least, and that's what I that's what I focused on were the bird figures. They have kind of the same body with a different head and different uh, paint apps. So I'm going to go over a few more of these in other reviews, but for the most part, they're all relatively similar in the same kind of vein as uh, Masters of Universe Classics. These are built on part reuse. So uh, let's take a look at him from the top down. So the main difference for Cyanicus here is that he has the kind of bluebird head. And this it's, it's on a ball joint. Um, it's got a little bit of a rocker. There's not a whole lot of movement because of the armor piece, but it moves well enough. And it has a full 360 degree rotation. Uh, we've got a hinge and a swivel at the shoulder. We have got a swivel. We've got a uh, dual dual ball, dual elbow joint there. We have a hinge and a swivel at the wrist. But my hinges are kind of tight. Not that that's a bad thing. They're just it's just kind of hard to show. Um, they have swivel at the chest and at the waist. And the the joint in the chest is one I'm not too familiar with. It's a big peg that holds the body together. So it's not, it doesn't appear to be any kind of ball joint. It's like a big plastic, rubbery plastic peg that sits that's about that big and it keeps everything together and it works pretty well. Uh, we've got a hinge and rotation at the legs and as you can see, he's got a wide range of motion. We've got a thigh swivel. We have uh, a knee joint, which has plenty of rotation. Uh, we have Another joint at I get what would be I guess the ankle for the bird and it, but it's a you know kind of a backwards joint and then we have swivel and hinge at the foot talon level whatever you want to call it. He's also got um, the, the little wings on the back are articulated. You can swivel them around a bit. Um, those can be replaced with with uh, larger wings. I do not have them. They are extra. They don't come part of the package. Now as far as uh, sculpt, I mean obviously this guy is loaded with sculpt work. Everything you see here is sculpted in. The feathers are sculpted in. All of this line work on the on the armor is sculpted in. All the little details on the belt are sculpted in. Look at the line work on this uh, on these like I guess what you call them uh, leg plates down here. There are uh, scales, kind of scaly uh, feathery bits on the talons. Everything is sculpted and everything looks damn near flawless on these guys. They are they are amazing figures. Every every little nook and cranny that could have something in them has something in them as far as detail goes. And then on top of all that detail is paint apps upon paint apps. So, you know, he's a bluebird, so he's covered in blue. We've got varying shades of blue. We've got, you know, light blues in the artwork in the uh, armor. We've got uh, darker blues all over. We've got light blues in the uh, in the feathers here. You know, he's called Cyanicus, so a, a darker blue makes sense. We've got feathering no pun intended, uh, all over the uh, the face. So you can see how they've kind of like dry brushed that. And then uh, 
just all around excellent, excellent paint apps everywhere. Uh, you really can't ask for too much more out of this guy in terms of presentation. They are, they're loaded with just a solid look and feel. The only thing that I really don't like about them, and it's not so bad, it's that I have a real hard time posing them sometimes. And that's just due to the nature of the feet. You know, they're, they don't have a wide base of them. They're, they sit, they kind of do, but at the same time they don't. And it just depends on which, uh, which figures I've got. Some of them are better than others. Sinica stands up pretty well for the most part. Uh, but that's that's my one thing. But at the same time, you know, he's a bird. He has talents, and they look awesome. So I can I can deal with the uh, with the posing issues. And it's not like it's a balance issue. It's just I got to play with him to get him to stand right sometimes. But when I get him to stand, you know, he's pretty solid. So can't argue with that too much. So let's move on and look at his accessories. Now for accessories, Mythic Legions, at least the the kind of the base figures, don't come with a whole lot of stuff. And the birds especially don't. They come with one weapon of varying types. So Cyanicus comes with the, the spear and, you know, he's, he holds it really well. Um, he's got tight grip in both hands, so you can have him do it in a single hand uh, pose or he can hold it in both hands just fine. Um, it's mostly silver, but then the actual tip of the spear has kind of a coppery bronze with kind of a, a faded weathered look. So it looks kind of rusted almost. The other accessories that the birds come with are other feet. So one of the options that Mythic Legions has are flight stands. So you can kind of pose these guys in flight, so to speak, especially if you have those big wings. And he's got like open talons that are kind of like grasping, uh, but not fully closed, not fully open. And then they've got these that are fully closed. So you could have him like gripping something, not much, but you could have him gripping something. They are just as, as you know, ultra detailed as the ones that he has to stand with, but they're just in different poses. You know, again, I don't, that's something I don't have. And I, I honestly need to get in on the, uh, on, on the flight stands for these, at least a couple, but maybe down the road when I do a few more reviews, I'll be able to show those off. Uh, but for it for right now, I don't have any stands, but I can tell you that, you know, these these just pop off So the uh, they're just as articulated as the other ones They you know rotate hinge and then they'll pop into the uh, the socket at the foot um, The other thing I don't know if maybe if you really consider it a uh, an accessory or not But something that all the birds have is this kind of belt with a bunch of uh, little doodads on it And you can take it off if you pop the figure apart It's not it's not attached to the figure and if you pull the chest apart that like that big peg that I was talking about before you can slip this over it So it's got kind of it's got a lot of detail on it. He's got like, you know, like some tools a uh, little patch a uh, little like package uh, a belt buckle. There's a horn. Maybe that's a flask of some kind. It looks more like just like a sounding horn. Um, and then he's got like this kind of like idol or maybe a little totem or something. Scroll possibly. Not sure what it's supposed to be. But all the birds share this. It's the same exact piece as far as I can tell. So not a whole lot to talk about, but what he's got is pretty cool. All right. So overall, I think I've said enough about this guy. He He's pretty cool. Uh, Mythic Legions are kind of, you know, the Four Horsemen's like kind of love letter to the action figure world. These are their babies. They have put a lot of care into them. They're, you know, they're detailed as all as all get out there. They're filled to the brim with sculpt work, with paint apps, with, you know, tons and tons of detail. I, I really, really, really like these figures. I think they're very cool. The idea of having these varying races all in one world is really cool. Uh, you know, because there's there's like trolls and there's skeletons and minotaurs and all sorts of other stuff. The birds are what really drew me in, and I've got a few more to talk about eventually. And then another that kind of fits with the birds, but is not a bird. And then, uh, you know, we've got the new Mythic Legions 2.0 Kickstarter coming up that focuses a lot on girls, on female characters, which just all look really awesome. Tons of other new stuff coming. So uh, that's going to do it for this review. If you haven't gotten these guys, I would try to find a way to do it. They can get pretty pricey on the aftermarket, but every now and again, uh, Four Horsemen find a way to get more out onto the market. So, you know, keep your eyes out for them. And if you haven't already, uh, participate in that Kickstarter and they've got tons of cool stuff coming. So um, that's going to wrap up this review. As always, stay tuned to Toy Bro for more reviews and feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, all of your interaction with the videos really helps out and really appreciate it, everyone. So until next time.